I think it's important to highlight that there are a number of international powers and actors who will be celebrating the toppling of Imran Khan in Pakistan. Among them are Saudi Arabia, the UAE and the European far right, who have been exceptionally uncomfortable with Imran Khan's loud and outspoken defense of Islam and the implications of his soaring popularity in the Muslim world in a period in which they are seeking to de-Islamize their societies and move away from Islamic influences. Saudi Arabia's Mohammed bin Salman is in the midst of de-Islamizing the kingdom and has shifted his foreign policy priorities accordingly. When Israel stormed the Al-Aqsa Mosque and bombarded Gaza last year, Saudi media backed the Israeli narrative and blamed the Palestinians while Imran Khan lambasted the Israeli oppression. When Francis Macron defended the cartoons ridiculing the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and then proceeded to pass a range of draconian laws restricting the freedoms of French Muslims, the UAE insisted Macron was correct to do so in the interest of French national security while Imran Khan criticized Macron and delivered a historic speech in the UN denouncing Islamophobia and the role of states in exacerbating it. In 2019, Malaysia's Mahathir Mohammed sought to convene a summit of Muslim nations in protest at Saudi and UAE policies and invited Pakistan, Indonesia, Turkey and Qatar. With Pakistan and Indonesia, the summit would have represented more than half of the world's Muslim populations. Saudi Arabia and UAE panicked and proceeded to threaten Imran Khan by telling him they would withdraw investment and send Pakistanis back to Pakistan if he attended. Saudi and the UAE have also been annoyed at the manner in which Imran Khan has sought to use the OIC to try to force them into positions on issues such as Kashmir and Palestine. Saudi and the UAE are pursuing closer ties with both India and Israel and are keen not to antagonize either. Both have sought to disassociate from these Muslim issues and separate them from national interest. Yet Imran Khan has consistently sought to push the OIC into public positions that they would rather avoid. For the far right of Europe, the momentum Imran Khan inspired in Muslim communities and his persistence in pushing for measures at the UN against Islamophobia have been a source of particular irritation. This is why, with the toppling of Imran Khan, the prominent Dutch Islamophobe Gert Wilders tweeted, Good riddance. Wa inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'oon.